Hey, we're all stuck indoors with COVID problems around us. It's a great time to learn the recorder. In this lesson, we're going to look at one aspect of recorder playing, maybe the most important aspect, and that is tone. Now, what is tone? Tone is when you sound good, very, very simply. How do you sound good on the recorder? Well, the recorder may be best understood as a collection of pipes in one instrument, all gathered together, all bundled together. Imagine a pipe organ, you have huge pipes, you have small pipes. The organ maker regulates the air for each pipe so each pipe sings beautifully. So let's just try that, see how that works. I'm going to take the top part of this recorder, just the head joint. I'm going to blow a note and I'm going to listen to a note, the note and I'm going to increase the air and reduce the air until I find the place where, that, where this pipe rings, where it resonates. My hands will be up and down to show various things. At that breath pressure, that this pipe is ringing. Let's add the rest of the instrument without the foot joint. So the foot joint's taken off. I've now got another pipe. And the pipe is this long. I'll do the same thing. Blow up and down. My hands will tell you what, what it means. a nice ringing sound. It's a different breath pressure from the just the head joint but it's a nice sound. Now with the foot joint added. Okay so three different pipes, length, three different air volumes. Let's test that. I'm going to take a bottom G, thumb, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and play the bottom G. I got to do the same thing, up and down. There's a plastic recorder, it's probably gonna break quite quickly. Let's see how it goes. That's the point where that G vibrates, rings the best. I'm gonna play the upper G, or the middle G actually, with the second finger only, so it's Two, at the same breath pressure that I use for the bottom G. Let's see what happens then. The bottom G kept playing. It kept playing nicely, the resonance was lovely, but the top G, or the, the middle G in this case, was quite anemic, was quite lifeless. So let's play the middle G. Again, up and down and until I find the point at which it resonates. Now, the job then is to remember the bottom G resonation. Resonance, is that a word? <laughs> the place where the bottom G resonates. And then when I play the top G, quickly go to that. So as an exercise, I play the bottom G, finger the middle G, then move up to the middle G. Repeat that backwards. Play the middle G, then bring it down to where you think the bottom G should be, then finger the bottom G. Now this time without any up and downs during the note and remember the physical memory of the bottom G air and the middle G air and just quickly as your fingers go up coordinate the breath to, to do that together. That works very well. Let's go an octave higher. So uh, thumb, pinch thumb, one, three, four, six, seven. Again, the same thing. Play the note up and down until it resonates. It's the best I think this will give me. Those three G's. 
from bottom to top. Doesn't even play the top G, doesn't play with the same breath as the bottom G. I need to regulate it. Okay, now, can I regulate that in time, in coordination? Yeah, not bad. So, that's what you do. Let's take, take it out. So, you just take a note, f play it up and down, blow it up and down until it resonates, until it rings, until it becomes the most beautiful tone that note can be on that instrument. And then, remember that for every other note as well. Here's a quick tune. And I'm going to play this with just the same breath pressure as the first note only. See what happens. I like that A. Hmm, didn't work did it? Because I wasn't regulating the breath through the notes. So now I'm going to remember where, 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 where are they. So I'll just play a D minor scale for the moment and find out where they are. Ah, the problem with this recorder. We'll find it in a minute. But for the moment, Okay, I've got those five notes. Let's regulate the breath. That's quite nice. The problem I mentioned was that the in tune F requires a lower breath pressure than the resonant F does. A really good instrument, the resonant, the resonant, resonant resonating the resonating uh, breath pitch will match the intonation very closely not it will never be perfect but closely and if it doesn't like on this recorder i'm going to have to finger the f differently probably using shading you might be shading three four and five that works here we can do that different ways but for the moment that's good let's add some tonguing with t and uh, and res maybe or les whatever not so bad not so bad that's the idea take a note blow it up blow it down wait until you hear it resonate, remember that sound, and your recorder tone will be a hundred times better. There we go. Bye-bye.